Hello and welcome if you're new to my channel and if you're a subscriber, a warm welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to a boutique that's located in Knightsbridge, London. It's literally a stone's throw away from Harrods. You come out of Harrods door two, follow your nose down Walton Place, becomes Walton Street, and where the road bends in front of you is the boutique. It's called Joseph Multibrand. Just opposite that boutique, is their own brand boutiques for menswear and women's wear. I'm going to focus just on the multi-brand in this video and it's a boutique that's very much in keeping. It houses a lot of the brands that my channel is focused on by better by less. So it's brands that are under the radar and pack a mighty quality punch and I've had viewers who've asked me to talk more about brands such as Jill Sander, Isabel Morant, Gabriella Hurst and a couple of those brands are housed in this multi-brand boutique. I'm Anna Susagonda and I produce educational luxury content for anyone after the finer things. So whether you're someone who is into luxury but wanting to focus more on brands that are under the radar, heavily weighted on quality, or you're new to money and wanting to learn how to navigate the terrain, or you're someone who is younger and wanting to reap the benefits of buying quality from the get-go, then my content is very much geared towards you. Joseph Multi Brand is literally a gold mine. You have Harrods, which is the main pull factor, the anchor for Knightsbridge. But if you want to do some serious shopping or you want another boutique with a good range of designer brands, it's literally five minutes walk from Harrods. And what you will find is that over the years, I've noticed Harrods buyers tend to play it incredibly safe in terms of the colors and the styles that they buy in every season. Whereas Joseph Multibrand is very much focused towards a very fashion forward, international jet set audience that are after color, they're after the key pieces and styles for the season and they cater fantastically well to their audience. So where the brands overlap between Harrods and Joseph Multibrand, you will find the overlap is on the brands in terms of names, but not on the collections. What they have in Harrods will typically be different to what they have in Joseph Multibrand. So it's always worth that five minute wander down once you've finished in Harrods. The other thing I really like about this brand and I highly recommend is just the mix, the diverse mix of brands they have. They have your more glamorous designer brands. So think of Christian Dior, you have Alaya, you have um, Saint Laurent, you have Valentino, you have The Ro, for example, you have Celine. And then on the more avant-garde, the edgier, the cooler brands, you have Gabriella Hurst, you have Loewe, Brock Collection, you have Kate. Um, just to name a few, for example. And um, the other thing worth mentioning is that they have a really solid team of stylists all bringing in their own unique style. And once you're on their books, they know who you are, they know your style, they know your taste and budget and so forth. They are able to send you visuals at the start of every season, locate key pieces, locate the most in demand pieces for you. They look after you and make sure you're taken care of. And every season they can always add to what they've already purchased and they know what, they, what you have. And then they can just add pieces, recommend pieces, which would work well with what you already have. And then to top it off, they ship globally. What I'm going to do is just walk you round the boutique, show you some of the brands, maybe chime in, talk about four or five in a little detail, just show you some of the pieces they have for the season. But what I would like to do going forward is uh, follow my Instagram account, also so Anesu. But what I will do is come in every season and just talk you through some of the key trend pieces. What are the trends for the season in the fashion space? looking at my brands under the radar, recommending their key pieces, um, what's selling well, how to mix pieces and put together outfit options. But I'm going to do short, sharp videos on my Instagram for that. So do follow that account and you'll be able to see more of uh, the goodness that comes from Joseph Multi Brand. But I'm going to kick off with, um, I'm going to do four or five brands depending on how I'm doing with time. But I'm going to kick off with an Italian brand called Etro. Etro is an Italian family owned business. It was started in 1968 by Gerolomo Etro, but he has since 
slowed down and handed the reins over to his four children who all hold executive positions in the business. They all started from the bottom and worked their way up. So they understand the business implicitly. He has one son who is creative director of menswear. His daughter is the creative director of women's wear. And then he has another son who is the creative director of the rest of the brand. The brand is a lifestyle brand, so they're focused on a whole range of products apart from clothing. There's footwear, there's perfume, there's jewelry, there's also home furnishings. Bedding is my most requested video, and I will talk about Etro, as Etro is a great brand for just adding a bit of fun, a bit of excitement, um, a bit of color to a fairly simple bed setting. But Etro is a brand that's very much focused on Paisley. It is its signature, the Paisley and also the, the Chacard weave. And that was introduced in 1981. And the Paisley either clashes or you have accents of it on, on an outfit, but there's always the Paisley on it. Also within that Paisley, the, the, the clashing, the bold prints, you also do from time to get, time get your geometric, your floral, and also your checkered prints. But the emphasis with Etro is very much on flowy, very breezy pieces that are incredibly romantic and sumptuous in terms of the fabrics, um, exclusive in terms of just the styles. They are unique to Etro. It stands out. It's their signature. And then this season, um, J uh, Joseph Multibrand had exclusive access to a collection that had a number of pieces made from the same material, um, from the same design in different materials. So you had, for example, uh, a trouser suit with a long and a short jacket in jacquard. You also had um, your long skirts, you had blouses, you had a beautiful long flowy dress with your balloon sleeves. It was a chiffon dress and it had the ruffles all around, elasticated waist, a really pretty, very feminine, fun summer outfit. Same style, different, um, different fabric in silk, same design, um, a very simple V-neck with the sleeves, flowy, um, very pretty, simple, but well-made dress. Um, I tried on pieces from each brand that I'm going to talk about. So at least I could show you, you get an idea of the brand. I'm five foot two in height and I wear um, either UK six or US double zero. My next brand is a German brand that I've been requested to talk about a few times. It's a German designer, Jill Sander, and it's Italian owned. Jill Sander is a brand I've spoken about a few times on my channel and most recently in my hierarchy of handbag series, which I'm going to attach above. And Jill Sander perfectly encapsulates absolutely everything that my brand stands for, my channel stands for, which is brands that are heavily weighted on quality and operate very much under the radar. And the key word when it comes to Jill Sander, first and foremost, is minimalism. Very simple, very little minimal detail on their clothing items. The focus is heavily on your exceptional craftsmanship and using uber luxe, very high quality materials. And the people who buy Jill Sander are willing to pay the high prices because they know what they're getting. It's a proven brand and it's all about the very clean, timeless and statement silhouettes. Clean in terms of the shapes tend to be straight, oversized, often they're, shape, um, they're square in shape. And what you'll find is that their tailoring is quite sharp. And the emphasis is very much on your subtle detailing. So for example, um, the hardware, you will find that the buttons, for example, are covered in material. And most buttons in the market tend to be fairly thick and concave, but with Jill Sander, they tend to be very thin and very flat. Um, if they have any lace panels on their clothing items, for example, you will find that lace is typically um, hand woven. The emphasis is very much on producing very high quality products and their products are produced in highly specialized factories, either in Italy or in Japan. And the people who typically buy Jill Sander clothing items, they also produce handbags and of course shoes, are people who have supported the brand from the get go, from the very beginning. So an older audience, or you find now your young career focused fashion forward women, or now an even younger audience. Um, there's a lot of streetwear influence. So you have, for example, in the United Kingdom, 
three new branches that have opened. You will find, for example, Jill Sanders available in Joseph Multibrand in Knightsbridge. And Knightsbridge is part of the Platinum Triangle. I'm going to attach a video above where I talk about that. And the Platinum Triangle it comprises of Mayfair, Knightsbridge and Belgravia. And between those three areas, they have some of the most expensive uh, prime real estate in the United Kingdom and some of the most affluent people in the country reside in in the Platinum Triangle so they are right in the middle of their target audience it's a phenomenal brand uh, when it comes to quality when it comes to the timeless element whatever you buy is not going to age it's going to be very well made using high quality fabrics the piece I wore from Jill Sander is actually my favorite from this season. It's a navy blue tunic dress. It's long, it's full length. And I felt my height wouldn't quite do justice to the beauty of this piece, but I wore it with very high shoes um, just to give you a good idea. But this piece was my favorite for the season. Absolutely beautiful, really thick, sumptuous cotton. And then the hardware detail on it, the cut, the oversize, it was, it's an absolutely beautiful piece. My next brand is an American brand based in Los Angeles. It's called the Brock Collection, focused on your luxury women's ready to wear. They um, are the youngest of all the brands that I'll be talking about in, the, in this video, founded in 2014 by a former husband and wife duo. Everything that they produce is focused around corsets, whether it's the tops, the skirts, the dresses, everything is corseted. Their pieces are incredibly light, very feminine, incredibly romantic in terms of the style, the look, the cut, the feel of the pieces. And there's a lot of floral print designs. I chose three pieces. Uh, the first, this incredibly striking black dress. It's a real showstopper. You walk into a room and people will notice you. It has the wow factor. Wore it with red accessories, went specifically for heels. Because of my height, I wanted to, to do justice to that dress. But even if you were tall, I wouldn't recommend wearing it with trainers or dressing it down. It's too much of a statement piece to dumb it down and make it casual. It just would look wrong. It looks nice, elevated, um, and you stand out. You're, you're, you're a showstopper. The other two pieces worn together. Uh, the top can also be worn with skinny jeans and trainers or skinny jeans and heels. And the skirt can also be worn with either a t-shirt uh, dressed down with trainers or with a shirt and with heels. Um, both pieces would work very well dressed up or dressed down. But the Brock collection is very much about celebrating the female form with incredibly pretty pieces. My next brand is a brand I've spoken about uh, quite recently, actually, in my Harrods video where I was showing you two new concessions, Hermes Farm and the Loewe collaboration with Paula's Boutique. So I'm not going to talk too much about Loewe in this video, but Loewe is Spain's most distinguished brand. Started in 1846, it's owned by Louis Vuitton Moe Hennessy the largest luxury group in the world. And what we're seeing happening with Loewe is what happened um, three, four years ago with Bottega and Caring, where we started to see their stock rising, the brand became a lot more high profile, and they ultimately ended up with the most spectacular, the most revered handbag of the season, the pouch. And the pouch is very much here to stay. It's asserted its authority as the bag um, on the fashion scene. And we're starting to see Loewe stock rising. They have an amazing new creative director, um, Jonathan Anderson, who also has his own eponymously named brand, doing fantastically well uh, as a creative director for both brands. The Loewe aesthetic is a lot more refined. It's incredibly confident. And the style is relaxed with a fashion twist. So a lot of your Loewe items will have a slight quirk to them. So for example, a shirt with a slightly longer side or the piece I chose to wear for this particular video. Um, a very fun, very playful skirt with the jagged edges. It's a skirt that can be worn with the bodysuit as I've done, or it can be worn with trainers and a t-shirt. It can be worn with sandals as I've done. There are just so many ways of wearing it, but their pieces are a very relaxed style, very easy to wear, but with a very slight fashion twist. And Loewe is a brand that we will start to see a lot more of as Louis Vuitton pushes the stock to the forefront of the fashion pack.
My final brand is a trailblazing, eponymously named American brand called Gabriella Hurst. Louis Vuitton, uh, Moe Hennessy uh, have a minority stake in the business and the balance is owned by the Hearst family. Gabriella was the creative director of Chloe before she focused entirely on her business. The business is seen as the American competitor to Hermes and Hermes, as you know, is the benchmark when it comes to luxury in the industry and for your business to be compared like for like with Hermes, that in itself speaks volumes. Gabriella Hurst as a brand is focused on three core principles, timelessness, uncompromising quality, and the linchpin is sustainability. Everything about the brand starts with sustainability. They are very much focused on not producing too much stock so that they reduce on the amount of waste. Her collections, summer, and also winter are transcollectional, so the pieces can be worn all year round. And she's focused on using dead stock, and that is stock, uh, excess inventory from brands. She recycles that and then produces that into um, items for subsequent seasons. And she works quite closely with Laura Piana, for example. She's very much focused on your tailoring and your knitwear. She uses some of the very best quality materials, silk, cashmere, wool. She also uses hemp and linen. Hemp uses considerably less water than cotton and linen to process it. As I mentioned, she's focused on tailoring and knitwear and her hero pieces in her collection are typically your double-breasted trench coats, um, your flared trouser suits. She also has in there your midi skirts made from either leather or from wool. Looking at the uncompromising quality, as I mentioned, she's very much focused on using the finest quality materials. She's also focused on your more innovative materials. So for example, all her clothing items have a special silver lining and that silver lining protects female reproductive organs from the radiation um, emitted from your mobile phone. From Joseph Multibrand, I chose this exquisite, cream dress with the uh, balloon sleeves you can see the tailoring the refined elevated aesthetic i mean the dress is beautifully sewn it it is literally show-stopping and this is gabriella hurst at its finest i've worn it with heels because i'm short just to give myself the height and do justice to the dress but it's a dress you couldn't dress down even if you tried but what you you are getting from this dress is the material it's the cut the way it sits the way it feels um, the way it's styled it is absolutely stunning and this is Gabriella Hurst uh, what her pieces are typically like but I've talked you through five amazing brands in Joseph Multibrand. I will talk about other brands in subsequent videos, but this is a boutique for you to get on your radar, particularly if you're fanatical about my type of content. It's a, a boutique that's focused on the brands that are under the radar, heavily weighted on quality. And as I mentioned, do follow my Instagram account, so Anisu, where I'll be um, showing a lot of videos with outfit options from Joseph Multibrand. But as always, thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon.